What's up, YouTubers of the world? Mega Geek Mixer here to give you guys a trailer reaction to the new trailer of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Uh, is that how it was spelled? I can't remember. All I just know is the new trailer is out, and I'm going to watch this one with you, but I'm also going to let you guys know that while I did see the first trailer, I only pretty much saw it once. During that time, I was way too busy, and I never got back to it. I can barely remember it, so I'm going to react to that one, too, and in a way, it'll be like I'm reacting to it for the first time, and I'm I'm sharing it here with you guys, just like I'm going to do with trailer number two here. All the same, though, I am very interested because this movie is supposed to be the real start of to what's going forward with the whole multi with the multiverse saga and the upcoming Secret Wars event coming in the future. So let's not waste time. Let's check out the, f the second trailer and we'll move on to trailer number two. I mean, uh, for the one, but you know the one I mean. Either way, let's get moving. You're an interesting man, Scott Lang. You're an Avenger. This looks like that. You have a daughter. But Ooh. you've lost a lot of time. He's been in jail? Like me. Yeah, I... We can help each other with that. Yeah. Who are you? I'm the man who can give you the one thing you want. What's that? Time. And the Conqueror. <laughs> he can rewrite existence and shatter timelines. You cannot trust him. I don't care who this guy is. I just lost so much. <laughs> Sounds like he's blind. He can give us a second chance. Second chance, huh? Really don't know how dangerous the second chance is. Now you want to make up time. This easy for you. But this isn't the way you, you do it. me what I need. Or everything you call a life will end. I want her to watch this. We had a deal. You are all the trust this guy. That looks like you thought you could win. I don't have to win. We both just have to lose. Oh. I'm sorry, Cassie. Wait. Wait. Nah, it, that seems a little too far fetched to believe. Nah, that seems a little too far fetched to believe. Okay, so first off, what I saw from what I'm gathering from that trailer, it looks like Scott decides to work with Kang the Conqueror because since he missed five years of his daughter's life as she was growing up, he wants to kind of get that back by go do by going and doing whatever deal King of the Conqueror is giving him to make up for that five five years of missing of her life. That's my guess, at least. And her in jail? Ooh, there, there's another thing that could show. It's like it could make him see what he's missed out on life and what happened to Cassie during the time he was gone, that that's what's making him going to do it. But from else from what I'm seeing here, and this is just me guessing just off of everything I saw in that second trailer, is that, is Scott going to die? Uh, is Ant-Man going to die? Because, uh, uh, let's face it, we all know that, yes, Cassie in the comics, she takes up the mantle of Ant-Man herself as well and stuff, but uh, I don't know. It, and it, I mean, yes, yeah, since she does, she will no doubt in the MCU, but is it going to be because Scott dies? I don't know here, because with him saying we both just have to lose, I don't know. It's just... It's a lot to process here, but now having looked at that one, let's go ahead and go into trailer number one and see, and let's see if we can figure out a little more of this. So, like I said, guys, going to be my first, uh, kind of going to be like my first time watching this again since I can't remember much or anything really from the first trailer that came out two months ago. Either way, let's get going and let's see what we got here. I used to ask myself a lot of questions. 
Scott, you're at X-Con. How are you an Avenger? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> but everywhere I go, people tell me the same thing. Thank you, Spider-Man. <laughs> people still need help, Dad. That's why we made this. It's like a satellite for deep space, but Quana. Wait, wait a minute. You're sending a signal down to the quantum realm. Turn it off. Now. It might be a lot too late for that. Okay, this is already making me think a little differently on some things. Where are we? Come to the quantum now. Wow. It's an interesting thing, yeah. Creatures. It's the secret universe beneath ours. Indeed. What are you so afraid of? Hey, she's been here. There's something I never told you. He knows something. This place. It isn't what you think. Wow. Oh, I find the the you hope. <laughs> And give you more time. If you help me. So, what's it gonna be? Ant Man. In the counter. Hey, I'll never get old saying that. And it comes out in February. Okay, this gives me a little better interpretation of some of the things that came off on trailer too. Such as Cassie saying this is her fault. So, yeah, because from this trailer right here, it's showing that she was trying to do something that no doubt look, that goes into the quantum realm, signal to the quantum realm, and that's what gets them all sucked into it and into whatever adventure they're about to get. Where you got King of the Conqueror, I guess, blackmailing Scott or whatnot in some what there. And yeah, after seeing that trailer, I'm thinking, no, Scott's not gonna die. He's just gonna play a very risky game here and stuff and it, and as we saw with the suit yeah we got we got ant-man we got hope as wasp and we got cassie with the suit herself so yeah i don't think she's gonna die or anything but i still can't help but think that he kind of falls for king the conqueror's trick and the fact that since he missed out on his daughter's life for five years thanks to what danos did did and he was stuck in there five hours while in reality it was five years that makes you just be like i want to make up for that i want to be there to see her as she grew up and everything i missed out on that and i feel bad for that yada 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 and hey i don't think any of us could blame him i mean if we were in his position we might want to do that too also the same though guys this is looking very interesting can't wait to see what gang the conqueror has coming for us because hey he's one of our major villains for this saga our major major villain is dr doom mind you but gang the conqueror plays a major role in this in this um universe and this upcoming saga and stuff it's like the first stepping stone point to secret war so i'm interested i'm excited i love to see where this is going and i can't wait to see it but either way guys let me know what you guys thought of it are you excited for a quantum realm coming for us i mean quantum manium coming for us and at man of the wasp king the conqueror oh and one more thing i almost forgot to mention in the second trailer we saw something that looked kind of similar to Mo mordock or Modoc, Modoc, my, I don't know why I said Mordoc, but either way, you know who I'm talking about, Modoc. And if that really is him, oh, this is going to get interesting. But let me know what you guys thought about it. And if you enjoy my videos or my reactions, all you got to do is click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to be notified when I make more videos. And until then, Make Geek Mixer, signing out. Bye.